Well, good morning from Wei Chinnacup. Avoided the rain again last night, so that's pretty good. Got a slight issue this morning. I've been attacked by ants. The chair was covered in ants. You might be able to see there. There's a few ants on me bloody stretcher bed. I've brushed a lot of them off so far, but yeah, a bit of a pain in the ass. But you get that, I suppose. So I'm thinking there's uh, three cases upriver up there. So I might go for a walk upriver and knock those off. Um, and then make my way to Shane's Beach. I've got to get some phone coverage today. Uh, work out whether I'm going to go to this hut or not. I think it's about 15 k's up the beach to get to it. Heading up the uh, up the creek now, the way Chimicup Creek or River, whatever it is. Looking for the first case. Shouldn't be too far away. Quite a pretty little spot, hey. Tiger snake country though, that worries me a little. Lucky it's not a hot day. Oh, it's a bit of a scramble to get here. But looky here, look what we found. Oh. Another case done. Well, the next case is another 240 metres up the river, so um, some upper pools or something. And seeing I've gone this far, I might as well bush bash 240 metres, knock the other one off, hey. How cool, still 180 odd metres away from the case, but uh, you come across these pools in the river, really picturesque. Wonder what the next 180 metres is going to bring me in regards to scenery. Awesome. few hundred steps and a few spider webs later I found the second one here at the upper reaches of uh, the upper pools pretty cool little place and uh, you can see down there by the tree the reason I come here all right it's uh, only 260 meters to the last case here so I might as well on the other side of the inlet so I might as well go down and knock it off I guess but uh, it's called Rock Hopper's Delight. Doesn't sound like much fun, does it? All right. I'll uh, keep heading down here to the rocks, I guess. Well, I made it to the case. The, uh, the last climb up the rock face there was challenging. It's gonna be even more challenging getting down. But looky what we have here. case here. Sweet! Another one done. Late start to the day but um, it's been a good couple of hours stuffing around getting those geocaches but it's uh, 11.30 now just about into um, Shane's Beach. Welcome to Shane's Beach, people. What a lovely looking little spot this is. I know I've been here before, but it's been a long time. I certainly don't remember it. Those houses must have the most magnificent view, hey? Lovely little bay.
setting up this uh, up this track. There's a little bit of soft sand in patches like here by the look of it. Um, softer than it looks. I'll head up here for a geocache. Bloody hell. Softer than I thought. pressure adjustment see how we go this time she's uh, really soft just here oh, bloody can't even turn that's dead all right let's see if we can get through the hole tire pressures is the key see that rock straight over there Looks like a cat. Head's facing the ocean, the tail's facing these other big boulders there. Apparently the geocache is under its tail. So I've got to get over there somehow. I don't know if there's a walking track to it, if you can drive to it. I think I might have to walk. So I've got the car parked in a safe spot, so we'll go for a wander. But how fantastic is that view? but no cigar that was a 150 metre bush bash through this type of bush that you can see in front of you <clears throat> really really nasty on the body certainly not the thing to be doing in a pair of sandals Welcome to Betty's Beach, folks. Unfortunately, just as I uh, just as I rocked up here, some drizzle started, so I'm pretty lucky, I guess, because uh, I found this little tin shed. This will be good for the uh, swag tonight. It's absolutely pumping full of people down here. Revolving bocce around the campsite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How good's the view here at Betty's Beach, eh? Hey? Fantastic.
Well, good morning from Betty's Beach. You might think it's uh, a nice day with the sun shining, but yeah, since five o'clock this morning, we're having these squalls come in, all these showers and everything else, but I'm nice and dry here under the, under the shed, so that's something at least. Day nine on the ground today. Thinking I might um, head up to the Perongarups, knock off a couple of cases and maybe go camp up. Welcome to East Beach on Two People's Bay. How glorious is that view? Bloody hailing, would you believe? Who'd want to go camping in this crap? Jesus. Holy crap, Batman. I'm glad I stopped. Come and check this out. Anyone want a stick? Holy crap. That's incredible. Bloody hell. Jesus, have a go at that burger. That's a beauty. Oh. Well, actually, I'll get out your road so you can take it. That might help. What do you know about the whole area? Yeah, quite a bit. What do you know about Waddy's? Waddy's hat? Yeah, you know it. Waddy's hat is... Uh, is that going to give me... Am I going to be able to drive up there? Yeah. I'm gonna, it's going to give me some protection from this wind and rain? Not much. Just so happens... They just had a big meeting about it. They aren't going to knock it down. Oh, well, I know nothing about it. I just saw there's a geocache out there and found out there was a hut. And I went, this is going to be perfect. I'm trying to find you the little... Got a booklet on it, have you? So is it going to be big enough to put a swag inside? Yeah. Oh, that is going to be my saviour. There you go, folks. Now you've got to come to the Peronga Up Tea Room. So I mean, have a go at that burger. That's just a friggin' ripper. Well, I can't remember the last time I had to eat a burger with a knife and fork, but... I can't see any other way of eating this bugger. Bloody hell. Fresh veggies, beetroot. The patty must be an inch thick. Avocado. All that for 10 bucks. That is just incredible. The main reason I stopped here was for a pesky nano. Because somewhere on here is a pesky nano. Nanos on rusty pieces of machinery. Pain in the ass. I hate nanos. Pesky little nanos on rusty pieces of machinery. They're a pain in the ass. But I got it. Took me two goes, but I got it. Good stuff. Going to move on to another case up the road now, see if I can find that one, and then I think I'm going to be taking you to a special little place. Stand by, or will be revealed. I heard of this secret little spot on my way here today. I was going to head up to the Stirlings, but I think I'm going to pull up camp here the night because just up here we have what is known as Waddy's Hut. Apparently there's a book inside that tells you about the history of the place and I'm thinking that if it's decent inside I might even just chuck the swag in there. It saves me uh, getting a wet awning. Oh, bit hard to open. Oh, perfect. I think the swag's going in here. 
Welcome to What Is Hot. Well, it's day 10, time for home. Couple of kilometres of gravel, blacktop for the rest of the way, so nothing exciting to occur on the way home, one would think. Um, it's five o'clock in the morning, would you believe? See, there's the proof, five o'clock, I'm up. I decided last night to uh, pull the swag out of the hut. I was just a bit concerned with all the rodent poo in there that I was gonna get hammered by buddy furry little bloody rats and that were going to drive me nuts but 10 days uh, has come to an end it's time to go home start the big clean up just want to say uh, thanks to Trev for coming along for half the journey and uh, thanks to you guys for um, watching it so we'll see you on the next adventure it'll be a few months away now I think until then be good we'll see you later Bye for now. Hey, I found a GoPro. Awesome. So 2019 concludes and I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on my videos and let's see what adventures we can get up to in 2020. Until then be good and we'll see you later. Bye for now.